first created by UK-based illustrator Daniel Hill as an idea to shine the spotlight on fellow artists, the Network of Awesome has now expanded into a group of 50-plus creatives from all types of career paths and mediums who come from all corners of the world. We pride ourselves on being one of the most diverse collection of artists around, with our main mission being simple to support, inspire, and promote each other on our individual paths as we chase the dream of making a career out of our passion. This is a showcase of just some of the amazing talent we have on board. Enjoy! yes, that is his real name, works in many different areas of comic and video game related art, and is currently an artist for the video game magazines, Nintendo Force, and Retro Magazine. He is the creator of the humorous action-adventure series, Tales of Marga, which appears in the anthropomorphic anthology series, Furlough, from Radio Comics. He wrote and drew the Pink Slip Backup miniseries that was featured in Fred Perry's adventure title Gold Digger and Arctic Press, and has also had art featured in Mega Man Tribute from Udon Entertainment. Thor is also an artist designer to some of Nerdcore's most popular stars, including Mega Ran, Richie Branson, Adam Warrock, Beefy, Insane Ian, Sulphur, and Michael Kill, among others. You can find all of Thor's work at thormeister.dvnart.com. GS 1.0 are an English band dedicated to celebrating Japanese culture and the world of gaming and anime. Formed in July 2013 in Preston, Lancashire, the three members are Trey, Kat, and Katomi, who all sing and vary their instruments depending on the song. As a musical project, GS 1.0 display a wide range of genres and interests, varying between acoustic, pop rock, metal, and more. They try to capture and celebrate gaming, anime, and other elements of Japanese culture in their own distinguishable style. Their music is impassioned with frequent gaming and anime references that'd make any fan happy. You can find GS 1.0's music and videos over on their YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash GS 1.0. Mark lives in Birmingham in the UK, and since he was old enough to hold a pencil in his hand, he's always been drawing something. He finished college many years ago with an HMC in graphic design, but it was illustration that he wanted to concentrate his time on. From children's book illustration to comic books and graphic novels, he's experimented with many different styles, but it wasn't until a friend asked him to draw a picture of Morrissey that he really came into his own drawing portraits. Mark has now embarked on hand-drawing a series of portraits using mainly markers of famous people and characters from film, TV, and the music industry which he's been doing for the last four years. You can find Mark's work at markbickleyillustration.weebly.com and facebook.com slash markbickleyillustration. You can also contact him for work at mark-bickley at hotmail.com. Born in 1991 in a small English town called Storebridge, Samantha Lees, nicknamed Matthew, 
has achieved many educational awards, including a Foundation Art Diploma with Extended UAL Drawing Certificate, and most recently, a Bachelor of Arts Honors Degree in Game Art Design. These education milestones have helped her to get onto a six-week internship program that has formed into an exciting job opportunity in the games industry. Mathy specializes in 3D environments that has a wide range of artistic skills ranging from traditional drawing, digital painting, building most things in 3D, and using some of the game industry's most up-to-date game engines to create fully playable levels. All of Maffy's work can be found on her website at maffylees.co.uk as well as youtube.com slash maffkins and linkedin.com slash maffylees. Johnny Moody, a.k.a. Aramis, is a hip-hop recording artist out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Aramis began getting into music at a young age, but had no idea he would eventually become an artist himself until reaching middle school. It was there where he started listening to a lot of underground rock and hip-hop. What started off as a simple hobby ended up turning into a deep passion that he could not let go of. Aramis dropped his first solo project, The Black Adam Mixtape, in June 2013 and followed up with The Nightcap EP in December of that year. It was during that time that he met a talented MC from Kalamazoo, Michigan, by the name of Danny Rosea. The two formed a group, The Leaders, and released the mixtape Boiling Point in June 2014. Aramis dropped his debut solo LP entitled Sleight of Hand on January 20th, 2015. You can find all of Aramis's work at aramis616.com and aramis616.bandcamp.com. Sarah Hodgkiss is an artist who recently graduated from Loughborough University, studying fine art. Throughout university, Sarah specialized in street art, screen printing, and illustration, and has created several commissions that can be seen on the walls of various establishments. Sarah's favorite artists are Alice Piscini, C215, and Coralie. After graduating, she moved to South Korea to be an English teacher, but still continues various art projects. You can find all of Sarah's work and news on her upcoming projects at artsydoodling.com and facebook.com slash pages slash artsy hyphen doodling hyphen Sarah hyphen Hodgkiss. Heather is a games programmer based in Bristol, England. She studied computer gameplay design and production at Staffordshire University, where she graduated with a first. She always enjoyed games growing up, and it's this passion that has inspired her to want to create new games and experiences for the enjoyment of others as a career. Heather works mainly using the game engines of Unity and Unreal 4. On a daily basis, she can code anything from simple user interface functionality to full game mechanics, with no task too big or small. You can find all of Heather's projects at www.heather-cooper.co.uk.
Shannon Kelly is a Californian-born artist who began working under the handle The Moon Squid in 2013. She focuses her artistic energy in three avenues. Voice acting, with four years theatrical experience and upwards of ten with improv. Illustration, as a graphic novelist, fashion designer, and portrait artist. And crafting, focusing on clothes, costumes, plush dolls, and miniature sculptures. She has voice acted in several Skyrim modules, Let's Play series, audio dramas, and visual novel games. As well, won awards not only for her visual arts, Raw Artist City of Pomona, RCC Student Honor Show Runner-Up, but for her costumes as well, Megacon Carlisle 2015 Cosplay Winner. You can find all of Shannon's work over at moonsquid-illustration.com and facebook.com slash themoonsquid. Katie Bass is a Cambridge-based artist in the UK who enjoys nothing more than creating art. Whether it's doodling on the bus or painting a gigantic canvas, both are fun to her, although she does find starting a new canvas rather daunting. Katie also loves to embark on writing and illustrating her own comics and has only recently self-published her first graphic novel, Reverie, with a westernized manga sort of style. You can check the first 25 pages out for free at her Facebook page, facebook.com slash pages slash kbass hyphen art. Twenty six cubies. Stefan is an artist who enjoys both traditional and digital art. He loves anime and is especially inspired by Studio Ghibli films. His work mostly revolves around portraits done digitally or pencil, and more recently has forayed into the world of oil paints to create his work. Stefan's work can be found over at his Facebook page, facebook.com slash 26cubies. Artist Showcase these are our video showcases, highlighting the best work from each member of the network, as well as introducing what they do and where you can find them online. Artist Interviews Sit-down informal chats conducted by network founder Daniel Hill and the artist in question, where we talk in depth about what it is they do, as well as a whole host of other fun topics. Artist Tutorials Video footage and behind-the-scenes work in progress of our artists as they work, providing tips and insight into how they do what they do. Resource Vault A vast online collection accessible to all members to both delve into and add to, full of references, inspiration, tutorials, and whatever else we can think of to help our fellow artists. The Network of Awesome. 
supporting, connecting, and promoting independent artists and entrepreneurs from all over the world. Don't forget that as well as YouTube, you can also find me across all my other social media, which I will link in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Speak to you next time.